next. Now, the government back home is preparing the groundwork for life after the Foreign Investment Promotion Board of the FIPB gets abolished. Sources tell CNBC TV 18 that the FDI rules will be made simpler and five sectors could be the big beneficiaries. Sapna Das joins us now with the exclusive details. So, Sapna, what can we expect post the FIPB's abolition? The new mechanism that is being proposed to replace the Foreign Investment Promotion Board is expected to be more simple, uh, particularly for uh, a few big sectors where licenses are required, like defense, telecom, mining, INB, pharma. Here, the license itself will be a kind of an FDI nod. Uh, you know, uh, once you receive the license, you may not require any further government approval. If that is the case and that is what goes through, this, this will be a huge relief for these big sectors. Apart from this, the uh, FIPB portal also that may come under the DIPP's administration will have a new name. And once the applications come onto this website, they'll be sent, uh, f you know, to their own line ministries for further processing. That That is the overall premise on which uh, the new mechanism is going to work. Also, in terms of the FDI reforms, very quickly, the government is working on that. The, the interministerial consultation is still underway. Uh, but it could take a couple of weeks for the government to actually decide as to what should be the policy on that front. Uh, but we understand that, um, you know, they may be looking at uh, further relaxation of the automatic route for a number of sectors. But there could be some exceptions to that. Probably defense and telecom will be exceptions because, you know, you already have security clearances under that. And also the financial services sector, what Whatever is the current uh, system in place of the automatic uh, route, the caps which are there, they are unlikely to be tinkered.